Now they know my timer starts. <laughs> Matthew, have we started yet? Oh, yes. Dang it. Okay. Right. So um, we're here to talk about what inspires us and what we see the vision of the technology in Santa Cruz County looks like in the future. Um, it's easy for me to kind of uh, find that inspiration on a daily basis at the nest and uh, just because of the amazing youth that we work with every day. And you're going to meet a few of them in about two minutes if I pull this off right. Um, but let me tell you a little story uh, to really get, give you all a sense of what the work is that we're doing at the nest. Um, we had five youth recently apply for this really prestigious computer science program. It's a three-year program. You graduate in three years with a degree in computer science um, with zero debt. And it's a really competitive program. We only accept 30 kids into the program. Um, there's over, well over 60, 75 kids that apply for this thing. We had five kids apply. Um, we, part of that application process was for them to get an interview, go through an interview. So we did some prep with them, and we, we helped them and coached them, and, and they went off and did the interview. The next day, one of the kids came into my office, and he knocks on my door. He said, hey, can I speak with you? And he comes in, and I was like, yeah, grab a seat. And he said, first words that came out of his mouth were, and this is, we're working in Watsonville, so if you know Watsonville. The first thing he said was, this is the first time in my life I've ever felt privileged. And I said, what? Like, I, I threw, it threw me back, right? I'm like, tell me more, right? He said, we were in there talking about working up with businesses and building apps and, and, and writing code and taking classes and working with peers. And he's like, all the other kids that were in the interview were talking about working hard in school or helping their family and working. He's like, you know, I could have talked about working in the fields and, and doing things. He said, but I was talking about this other tech, right? And he says, and I felt guilty for that, right? And I said, no, you don't feel guilty. This is an opportunity that every kid in this country deserves, right? Every kid should be able to talk about an educational experience that helps them and builds their skills and helps them grow, right? So he, he told me this and um, really blown away and we, you know, we had all these youth that applied for this program and it really just got me thinking about um, the work that we're doing and seeing these kids that I, I tell people every day that we put up our kids against any kid from any other community, whether we're putting them in any affluent community. I put my kids up against them any day in terms of their aspirations and their dreams and their drive and their dedication. They probably have a lot more grit than a lot of other kids, but they don't have equal opportunity, right? So that's what inspired me to launch the NAS, was to provide that opportunity for our youth um, and, and give them access to these tools and the talent and engage them with people that can help them and mentor them. And um, we're, we have a lot of people in here that have supported the nest over that time. We have people who have come in and volunteered. Um, we have people that have donated. We have people who serve on our board. We have people who, who offer them jobs. Um, we even have uh, somebody at Calliope that we have one of our youth that just got hired at, uh, well, he's been working for Calliope for a little bit. Can I share the news? He, he's our first nest member that, to get stock options. <laughs> So this community inspired me from the very beginning. I wouldn't have chosen to do this anywhere else. It had to be in Watsonville, it had to be in Santa Cruz County because of the massive support that we're getting from everybody. Um, at this point, I wanna invite my nesters up real quick to introduce themselves because when we talk about where technology is and the vision of technology in this county, it has to start locally. We have to build our talent, we have to hire our kids, um, we have to give them the, the skills that they need to build their skills. Luis, you should come up to it. Um, Luis works at File Open. Well, I'm not very good. But, um, so let me let them introduce themselves and you'll get to know a little bit of the youth that we work with. Hi, uh, my name is Mariana Garcia. I'm from Save a College Prep. I'm a senior there. Um, I use tech to manage projects and solve any problem that comes my way. Um, I also want to point out that I was one of the acceptances from CSN3. But unfortunately, I didn't do the program because I'm waiting for UC Irvine, hopefully. <laughs> so all five of our youth got accepted into the program. Yeah. Hello, my name is Jennifer Lopez, and I am a junior at Watson High School. And <laughs> what inspires me, um, I'm thinking of new ways to change um, diversity, and empower women in tech. Uh, 
Uh, my name is Josue Sanchez, and I am a future game designer. Hey everybody, I'm Luis Ayala, and I'm a software engineer at File Open. So that's a, just a fragment of the, pub, the talent that we're working with. Uh, one cool story about Luis, he actually teaches teaching a data security class at the Nest, and we found, we found a bug in Instagram. So, so, anyway, so thank you all. Um, thank you all for supporting us and um, being part of the tech, the Santa Cruz tech community. Thank you. Woo!